Hey, what's up, Kyle? Hey, Tito, you know the soap shoes from Sonic Adventure 2, right? Hmm. I think I've heard of them. How hard would it be to make soap shoes for the Sonic and Android? I got you. Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and we got a package from Tito the OG. So yeah, even though the beginning was technically a skit, uh, I did hop in his DMs, and I asked him to make me these shoes. And we worked out a deal where if I buy him the Sonic and Android, then he would make it because he didn't have that, and he wanted that, so sweet. And we've been talking almost on a daily basis since then, so I think we're friends now. I hope we are, because he's pretty cool. So we're gonna open this up, and then after that, we're gonna take some pictures and have fun with this thing. I don't think he's gonna be selling these just yet, but I feel like if they're requested enough, then maybe he might sell them and make more of them. So I guess we'll see what happens. So he sent me pictures on how they looked on like his one that he made, and <gasps> oh, he even included a sticker! Oh, this is I'm actually really happy to this. Like, I love this sticker so much. I wanted to grab one of these. So, this is great. I love this. I love this. <laughs> you know, we're just gonna keep that right here for the rest of the video. So anyway, yeah, he sent me a picture of these and he asked me how I wanted it done because there are plenty of methods on how he paints these things. And make sure there's nothing in there. Okay, well, there's, okay, that's done. But, holy crap. Here they are. Oh my god. Let me get that shoe. Let me get the shoe. There they are! Like, he had to, like, really experiment with these things. But, look at them. Don't they look sick? Let's get a close-up on one of these. So, with this one in particular, so I had him do, like, the line work on this. Uh, as well as, like, uh give it a nice glossy finish as well to like, pretty much match what the Sonic Nendroid has on his regular shoes. And if you're more of a fan of the uh, the Joyride Studios figure more of the shoes, then he could possibly do that as well. But I wanted something closer to the actual game if I could. And I was debating on if I wanted to do the line work or not because if you look at the a Joyride figure, you don't see those lines all that much. But if you see like the Sonic Adventure 2 shoes model from Sonic Frontiers, then you can see a little bit of line work in there, and I like to like it to be a little bit more defined. So I had him do that for me, but like if you don't want to do that, that is an option for you. But let's see how he looks on the Nendroid, and I didn't mean to take his, his whole leg off. Whoops. But here we go. You don't feel the satisfying click that you do with the actual like good smile leg, but you do feel a good firm fit. Like you can tell like they're not gonna fly off or anything. So he does this with like a 3D resin printer. So he got the model from Sonic Frontiers and then just customized it from there and like made sure they fit right. Push it nice in there. And there they are. Look at those! Oh! Look at him! They look so sick! So here's a nice rotation of him on the shoes. Oh my god, look at this thing. It looks so good. So I have a couple of Sonic Nendroids, as you can tell. And this is not even all of them. I still have like two more like off camera. But this figure in particular, I keep on my desk. So I think I'm gonna keep this figure with these shoes on the desk. And he hand paints all this too, so you can see like on the bottom as well that he painted that as well. But I just love the way he did this. This just looks absolutely stellar. Like he did such a good job with this. But I feel if you're gonna have him with these shoes, you gotta have him with the proper face. You gotta have him with his Nike grin. Come on. Yeah, look at that. That's how you do a Sonic. Man. This is so cool. Uh, I hope he ends up selling these so, like, more of you guys can get this as well. But, man, look at him. And if you want to compare him next to our normal Sonic, like, normal shoes, there's that. Uh, I, I love the lines. I think the lines look so good. Because I looked at them without the lines, and it just didn't look right to me. So I'm happy that he did that for me. But now we got to take pictures. So let's do that real quick.
I love this so much. I cannot thank Tito enough for doing this for me. I'm just obsessing over this thing. It's so cool. I love this so much. And I wish my desk was more even so he had an easier time standing. But look at that. He's so cool. These look so cool. And I don't understand why Jax hasn't done soap shoes for any of the modern figures yet. But I've been looking forward to this for the past couple of weeks. And now that's finally done, like, they came out so good. They came out fantastic, actually. So anyway, thank you, Tito, for doing this for me. You truly are the OG. I do love you very much. But now that i made friends with Tito the OG, I'm also friends with Pink GameCube. So I feel like I gotta get a custom from her now. And if I'm gonna get any custom from her, I want her OC in the Jazzware scale, just so like, it lines up with the rest of my figures like pretty easily. But she also does a lot of fantastic work as well. I love this. So that's gonna be it for this video. So if you're new and you like what you saw, you know what to do. In the description, there's gonna be links to my social media, so if you wanna get like a better look at those pictures I took, they're gonna be on my Instagram as well. This is so cool. I, I love this so much. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching. I love you guys to death, and I'll see you on the next one. So peace, peace.